am back. Road Trans for Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, punch subscribe, like, comment, share. You know the drill, guys. So we're going to talk about Biden, the Biden family, and uh, their, uh, well, well, a, uh, let's just say cocaine. Cocaine. I hear it's a hell of a drug. At least that is the rumor. That is the rumor that uh, I believe Rick James once told us very loudly and vividly on a episode of the Chappelle Show back in the day. Uh, over and over again, it's a hell of a drug. Uh, yeah, don't believe me? Uh, well, you don't have to take my word for it. You know, things like that. I mean, you know, that guy right there. Now, in case you guys don't know, that is uh, Hunter Biden. That's right, the Hunter. Uh, not to be confused with this Hunter. That's right, uh, the great television series that starred Fred Dreyer and Stephanie Kramer back in the day. That that series ran for seven years. I, and you want to feel old? Fred Dreyer is 77 years old. So that's Hunter, and that's Hunter. That's right, that is the son of... Of one Joseph Biden, who is in office right now. And then uh, the other day, somehow, some way, cocaine just showed up at the White House. Just to da I mean, I've heard everything. I've literally heard, well, it was left over from the Trump era. What? What? Did y'all leave it out sitting on a counter somewhere for the last, how many, how long has Joe Biden been in office? Three years? We're supposed to believe that? Uh, all right. Uh, we don't believe that. We don't believe that at all, and nor do we believe it belongs to the great President Trump or anybody that was uh, in the White House at that time because you know why that's nuttier than hell? Uh, it's totally nonsensical. I mean, we're, what, two, three years later? I mean, literally the media, that administration will uh, feed, try to feed you anything. Luckily for us and, and our smart Subscriber base, they know better than to believe that kind of utter and complete nonsense. So, that leads us to the press secretary. Oh, that's right. Karen Jean-Pierre. Boy, this is a um, this was an affirmative action hire, if we ever had one. Was it not? The box checking uh, is in full effect with this. We got female. We got black. And we got lesbian. Man, that's a that's a triple hitter. That's the Brittany Griner hat trick right there is what that is. That's right. And uh, so she, of course, she um, took over for Peppermint Patty when she, uh, Peppermint Patty, left and went to MSNBC. So uh, a reporter did, oh, my God, reporters are asking real questions all of a sudden. That's not good. That's not something the Biden administration is used to. I mean, they, they like to bar anybody they believe is going to ask them any real questions. Uh, but this was the New York Post, and, they, of course, they broke the story on uh, old Hunter there back in the day that was squashed by Jack Dorsey and Twitter and every other social media uh, entity that there was at the time, election interference. Let's get to this. White House Press Secretary Karen Jean-Pierre, this is... Ugh, as much as I hate to use it, but this is Fox News, and they got good video on it. Lashed out at a reporter Friday who asked whether the cocaine in the West Wing last weekend uh, belonged to a member of the Biden crime syndicate. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Biden family. Okay, my bad. The exchange happened during a daily White House press briefing. Briefing. When the New York Post reporter Caitlin Dornbos asked Jean-Pierre, could you, quote, say once and for all whether or not the cocaine belonged to the Biden family? <laughs> hey, valid question, I would say. I would say, that's a, I would say that's a valid question, possibly. Yeah, so, and also asked why Deputy Press Secretary Andrew Bates dodged questions related to cocaine by citing the Hatch Act a day earlier. And, uh, well, let's just say uh, affirmative action here. She lost her... 
ever whether love in mind. Or not. Asking again, can we just say once and for all whether or not the cocaine belonged to the Biden family? So. <laughs> A couple of things there. I think it's funny that the media is laughing. I mean, that's that's hilarious. Yeah, that that wasn't a softball, was it? Um, he mentioned the Hatch Act because the question was posed to him in the Donald in using Donald Trump, and so he was trying to be very mindful. Uh, okay, I, I hear you, but you're asking me a question, so I'm answering it for you. Um, and so that's why he said the Hatch Act. So I would I would you know have you read the transcript and read the transcript fully so you can see exactly what he was trying to say. So that's number one. So we're not avoiding the question. That is not true. We've answered this question, litigated this question for the last two days exhaustively. Um, you know, there has been... Dodged it. Dodged it. Some irresponsible reporting uh, about the family. And, uh, and so I got to call that out here. And I have been very clear. I was clear uh, two days ago. You literally have, literally have every liberal media outlet, which means you have basically every news outlet out there covering Biden's ass. Really? You get a little bit of heat and you lose your cool. Ago, when talking about this over and over again, as I was being asked a question, as you know, and media outlets reported this, the Biden family was not here. They were not here. They were at Camp David. They were not here Friday. They were not here Saturday. They were not here Sunday. They were not even here Monday. They came back on Tuesday. So to ask that question is actually incredibly irresponsible. And and um, I'll just leave it there. Okay, so um, I do wonder now, uh, whose White House is it? Question mark? Is this somebody else's White House? Why Why is this irresponsible again, exactly? I mean, look, isn't he the one running the show, in theory? I mean, probably not. There's probably some radicals that have him tied up on string somewhere, like this, moving, moving Biden around the room. Are they, are they actually doing a puppet help him snort coke? Oh, I didn't say that out loud. So, uh, Karen Jean-Pierre lost her mind on this. Um, it's, it's nuts. It is utterly insane that they believe they shouldn't have to answer in detail these kind of questions. House Republicans opened an investigation into the cocaine discovery on Monday, calling on the head of the U.S. Secret Service to give Congress more information. House Oversight Committee Chairman Representative James Comer, Republican, Kentucky, blasted the illicit discovery as, quote, a shameful moment. It's embarrassing as hell. I mean, uh, it's like Rick James is in the White House or somebody of much more sinister character could be floating around in those rooms. The situation has even attracted scrutiny from the liberal network MSNBC with one host speculating that the cocaine didn't belong to just quote an average person since it was found near the situation room in a secure location. Wow. MSNBC. God. Blind squirrel finds nut time. Is it not for the liberal network? My goodness. My goodness. I'm, I'm surprised they even mentioned this. Well, there's barely anything to see here. That's uh, that's just a little cocaine. Nothing to see. Don't worry. It will be crack soon enough. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. Um, Karen Jean-Pierre is the gift that keeps on giving, much like uh, Kamala Harris. And I'm not playing that video. We've all seen it at this point of her making a fool out of herself when it comes to answering or defining culture. Oh, norms, laws, things that have to do with how other ethnicities deal with daily living and life. Oh, but that's 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 not really how she answered it or customs or anything like none of that. Nothing to see here. In fact, we had no idea what she was saying. Isn't it funny how when this administration, and we've seen this out of uh, dear old Joseph, 
Isn't it funny how when they actually take some heat, any heat, that they tend to lose their cool? Because we've all seen Joe kind of lean into the mic all creepy and be like, bleh, 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 and do one of those numbers at you, and you're like, dude, you got asked a valid question, or he snipes at somebody across the room uh, because they're they're mad about somebody asking about Hunter and, and him. And messages when it looks like they were in the same room sending them together. Yeah, that's a thing. You know, um, I think it's hilarious. I, watching her squirm, watching her lose her cool makes me happy. It does. I, I, I have to say, I get joy from it. I don't get cocaine in the White House turned into crack Hunter Biden joy out of it. I mean, shit, who could get that kind of joy from anything? I mean, hell. I wouldn't want to do that. I might lose my teeth. I don't know. You tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Oh, I kid because I care, obviously. Make sure you hit subscribe. Tell me what you think about Karen Jean Affirmative Action Pierre squirming up there as she gets asked a question and she's having a give you one of those or is it is it three snaps or a tambourine or is it a combination of the two i don't know pride month is over so i can't keep up anymore peace i'm out till next time